In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And St. Bartholomew, pray for us. You can read about him on there. I'm just trying to see if I should light it up a little bit. It kind of makes the computer a little hot when I do that, but whatever. So I got my tuning fork. It's kind of small, you know, but you just strike it, and then you can put it up against a piece of wood. You don't have to put on an instrument. I actually would advise you not to do that because you can kind of scratch your instrument, but um, you know, you strike it and put it up on a wall and, and just kind of memorize the sound. And to doing the daily TV mass because it's just really hard you know it's it's hard not to have it while we have it but I'm kind of being a little more discerning like if I don't like the homily or I don't think they're being sincere I'll just kind of unfortunately kind of skip that part you know just get the uh, because no matter how many rosaries you do, you still have to be kind of discerning about this stuff. And that priest on the Divine Mercy, when he started reading that artificial intelligence homily, I just couldn't do that anymore, you know? It's wrong. I think it was Father Cass that did that. And he got to think, he's a superior, okay? And this is just like witchcraft, you know, on the pulpit, you know? <laughs> Not to mention they give out communion in the hand, and that's just so painful to watch. I mean, just the amount of pain I have to go through to, you know, the spiritual agony of watching this go down and what our Lord goes through, you know. It's enough to, to send a person to, you know, have to wheel that person out on a stretcher by the time they're done just going to church, you know. I say it's like this shock, you know, of it. I just gotta warm my hands up. That's why it'd be nice to reform that FSSP because if they if they stop being so materialistic and greedy, you know, they could really start if they actually just wanted to focus on the Eucharist and stuff. That would be the, the primary function of that order. It's just been perverted and corrupted. So my hands are quite cold. It, the weather changed and unfortunately, yes, I do have my pants on, but like I said before, I can't figure it out how to keep warm without wearing pants in the winter. I know I'm a girl, so I apologize for that. how you know it's become corporate America corporate America with the priests that like Father Chris you know he's a corporate America person and he comes from that but when you try to commercialize God and stuff and put in that put in that, that box you know it's really hard to watch it's really painful and there's a priest like that we had in Coeur d'Alene I think his name is Father uh, John or Mosier or whatever he was a he was a uh, one of the same guys you know he's kind of came from Silicon Valley and stuff, and I mean, it's just, I really, really detest that kind of stuff in the church. It shouldn't be that way. You, shouldn't, you can't commercialize God for profit, you know, and unfortunately, it's so embedded in their minds because they studied marketing and, and all this management, business management, whatever, MBA. <laughs> I 
like, I'm tired of the ads on the Divine Mercy. I'm tired of the, them trying to upsell and it's like constant ads and then putting stuff in your face. It's like, I just want to watch the mass, okay, and get around my day. You know, I don't even bombard it. <laughs> Ministries and also this birth petite, you know, this uh, tertian, tertiary, Franciscan tertiary seer, I think. They all they all talk about the co-redemptrix dogma that's going to come into the church. We're, our mother, Jesus, and Mary are basically one. They're like the co -red they're, they're both the co-redemptrix of the church. And it's funny because recently the Blessed Virgin appeared on a host. And Orthodox churches have been doing this for years. They stamp their hosts with a Signia of the Blessed Virgin, and I myself have had this inspiration that our Blessed Virgin is in the Eucharist, and, and uh, it's hard for me to explain in so many ways. I just feel like she is, but that would mean all the angels and saints share in the Holy Eucharist, and because of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, you know, and also the blood too. Remember, Our Lady's blood matched our Lord's blood, and it's a precious blood, you know. So how could she not be in there? like her DNA is in there, you know? But there's so much more, too. Just remember the vision I have of the Blessed Virgin when she was pregnant being crucified. And someone slashed her belly like a cesarean, you know, while she's on the cross. And out pops the cross of Jesus. Jesus on the cross came out of her room through the cesarean. It's just a complete sacrifice for her. drugs they had that guy on mushrooms that tried to take down that plane Alaska Airlines flight and you gotta think you know you le they're legalizing the worst kind of things you know they're sending society into you know chaos <laughs> great too you know I mean they put them on the worst types of drugs and they interacted with each other and he did the most bizarre things when he was on those drugs and then his uh, psychologists run away you know they don't want to take the blame the heat for anything but, you know this has been going on for centuries you know these you know they make these drugs they say FDA approved or whatever and you're finding more and more people having having terrible reactions to these things Especially when they combine drugs, you know. And then what do they do when they, when people start getting symptoms? They'll just prescribe more and more and more drugs. They won't. They don't see the problem. It's like no, the drugs are the problem. Now this is lady I knew in a nursing home in her nineties. She started having anger temper tantrum problems when the psychologist came in and prescribed her some drugs. Well, the, her family got her out of there and got her off those drugs. Because families don't have a lot of power anymore over these nursing homes. And these doctors and psychologists just take over. And it makes it extremely hard to get, for the family members, to get them to stop drugging their relatives. Well, this lady, they moved her to another nursing home, took her off the medicine, and she was fine. Absolutely fine. But like I said, you know, the pharmaceutical company, they make a lot of money pitching these drugs to doctors. And the doctors 
They don't call them kickbacks, but they get rewards. They get free trips and stuff. <laughs>
think Joseph definitely hears us when we ask him for help. He may not respond immediately, though, just to let you know. Or maybe a slow, a slow reply, but don't let that ever discourage you, you know? He wants us to appreciate and have gratitude when he does give us, um, you know, the graces that we we're asking him for. Sometimes he wants us to suffer just like anyone else. He doesn't want us to get proud or think, oh, well, I'm Catholic and I prayed, so I didn't have to work like everyone else, you know? <laughs> like I just shot right up to the top. It's not like that, you know? He wants us to be little, like the little flower, you know? celestial coin in the in the violence piggy bank every time I pray or every time I play you know uh, in building up my treasures in heaven you know and that coin is the coin of the holy face 